What did that match off down big or were able to pull yourself back into it? Can you talk about what's going in your head and just how you were able to get back into the match? Um, I should like answer the fact that, you know, I came into this tournament thinking, you know, get a double gold and I didn't give him a double gold, so I figured it first out. Greco, I wasn't gonna let nobody stop me. You know, he's my teammate, you know, all respect to him, but I wasn't gonna let him beat me. And I knew I was down 9-0 first period, came back and won 13 and 9 was just I had this in mind the whole time. That's what got me to that way. Did you, you have, did you have a different mindset though when you were down nine to nothing as opposed to the start of the match? No, sir. My my mind was just keep attacking, keep attacking. You know, I know I was gonna break him. So my coach is like, always keep going, keep pushing the pace, gonna break him, believe in your training, I believe in my training and have the job done. You talk about the double gold. Obviously, you didn't accomplish your goals on the freestyle side. Was it business as usual coming into the Greco side of things, or was there extra fuel to the fire for you? I mean, there was definitely extra fuel, you know, because I lost, and when I lose, you know, I don't like to lose. I don't lose a lot. So, you know, it was in front of everybody, and I just fueled my fire more. You know, kind of kind of in that finals match, you know, I was like, oh, down 9 nothing. But remember that match I lost, I'm like, no, not happening again. So I came back and scored, 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 broke, and then won. I know you guys wrestled in the third and fourth place match in freestyle. Have you guys wrestled at all before that? Yes, we, we go back, way back at like 2014 States. He beat me in the blood rounds at 2014 and then never got to wrestle again until this year at Freestyle States and Greco States. And I beat him both and then freestyle. He, he's pretty he's pretty good at Greco. He's better at Greco than I think at freestyle. So he inside trimming me in the first for third and for a third and fourth in freestyle. I knew he was I knew he was gonna go big in the matches, but then I had to go big for third and fourth. I pinned him then out in the Greco match. I knew he was gonna be a lot tougher than the freestyle, so but I got the job done. Hey, so the styles are obviously different between Greco and freestyle. Was there anything else that has to change in your mind at all as you as you, as you prepare for this and execute it? No sir. Freestyle, folk style Greco, my my mindset is believe in training. Uh, one match at a time, just keep scoring, have fun out there and let it fly. You got you had two uh, lake fouls. Um, your opponent had two lake fouls against them. What uh, did you feel those coming on? Did you have any? What were your thoughts about those? I mean, when I was picking them up, I could feel a little bit of legs, but I don't know if you meant to do it on purpose or not. But you know, it's wrestling, so stuff's gonna happen like that. But I didn't even know I won. I didn't even know he got it. I was ready to keep wrestling, but then he said shake hands. I was like, oh, okay. But I was like, realized I was like, okay, that's awesome. Talk a little but, bit about your training leading up to this. Oh, uh, we. Okay. Or just this past pandemic year. I'm gonna go um, past these two, past two weeks. So um, we had so down in PA in Johnstown where I live with the Compound. We had a whole week of Gre uh, Greco training. You know, with leading up to Worlds, the bass are going. So we had a nice Greco freestyle and Greco uh, camp there Monday through Friday. We had at least uh, five to six workouts. You know, not just resting, though, know, like lifting and running just to get your cardio for these matches. You know, I was down nine nothing, so I had the I had the pace to go, go, go. I got it done, and then leading up to Alvernia, we had a camp out in Alvernia, and school in PA. You know, these coaches, man, they, they got us ready so much, you know. And we had three to four workouts out here in PA and Alvernia, and Monday through Friday, and then we came here, and we didn't stop. We went over that facility over there, right across the street, you know, we worked out, we worked out even the day of Wayne's. We still never stopped, and that's what I believe got us this win, that we never stopped. And we got the team champ, the team title went on freestyle, you know, I think we're doing it in Greco, so. PA came here to dominate, and we did, so all that training like, was good. Did um, Bassett's success overseas fuel your team at all? Uh, a little definitely, bit? definitely. It showed us what what this little, uh, what Team PA is all about. You know, we a team member around PA, from PA go out to Budapest and, you know, dominate, so that definitely fueled everybody up to see Bassett go out there and win, you know. That's what we're going to do the next year, you know. That cadet world team, I'm taking, I'm taking my spot back next year, so. What else are your goals besides that cadet world team? Um, I'm definitely gonna go get a Super 32 belt again. That's the goal. Get my two, get the second belt, and then um, when high school season starts, you know, that state title, my sophomore state title, freshman didn't go as well. Thought it'd be, but that just threw my fire for everything. And then, like I said, make that world team. Go get that world uh, Rome and soon Rome next year. Go get that gold. I know your brother has uh, been a big part, been a big part of your life. Can you talk about what it's been like? Competing with him now that he's uh, getting ready to head to court now. Um, you know it's amazing. He, um, if I get down or I lose, you know, he's always right there, giving me a hug and say, "You got this next time." And then we go back to training. If I don't have a partner, hit on partner. We always get together. We don't, we don't, 
not wrestle each other, you know, because he's my older brother, my little brother. Sometimes he and little fights during practice. That's what it's all about, you know, each other push each other. If something bad happens, he, he does something wrong in practice, I'm there to fix him, he's there to fix me. You know, it's awesome. He's a world, uh, world model. Going to Cornell, he has 4.0 GPA, GPA, and, you know, I look up to him and want to be like him all the time. He, he's a, he's a great brother and he's trying, he's trying to do, follow his footsteps with the schools and his grades and go to college and everything. You got anything else before we get out of here? No, that's it. No, just love the sport and have fun. Just do what you love doing. Congratulations, Mason. Thank you.